Yeah, gang, we're back at you. Look at that smart car up on the pedestal. Look at a smart car up in the air. Look at that. How cool is that? Like Michelle. They drew a smart car, Michelle. Yeah, right. Just see those state cars. Hey, I got to tell you some update. Update. So we, we've got reservations for these two resorts on the beach, right? For today, dinner, with music, you know, entertainment, and tomorrow. And their prices are pretty, you know, like America, you know, $30, $40 a meal. No big deal, but we're, cru we're cruising down to what they call the secret beach. And there's a lot of little shops off the side of the road and resorts. And I'll tell you right now, kind of to the little city, we found some watermelon juice. We found some nice little, like, and and the panat like little like a uh, lupia little uh, what do they call it's them? Food. Yeah, but what do they call them in America? Those things yeah. wrapped up. Uh, uh, well, uh, anyway, like the Chinese restaurant has, they're, they're wrapped up round. What do they call those damn things? Anyways, they got some nice food here. Eight dollars, you get nine of them, and then you get like the, the watermelon or the fresh native squeezed juices in a bottle for like three dollars. That's Belizean, so it's like dollar fifty. I mean, it's pretty reasonable for four. Let's see, for four and uh, three, for seven dollars Belize. I mean, our money, seven dollars. Fourteen Belize. We got a meal for later at the beach, and we got two two watermelon juices, two bottles. Pretty nice. But there's a lot of little shops here, little places you can go in and have a beer. They got this great beer called Desperado. It's made with, it's fused with like fruit juices and a guava. Really tasty, really good. Can't believe it. And it was only like about, I don't know, two, two, I don't know, maybe two dollars, not even a dollar fifty. You get water here for like fifty cents. Although Michelle paid about, yeah, yeah, I guess it was fifty cents, a dollar fifty, with two dollars for a beer. And like a little, like, uh, looks like a 7-Eleven type store in a little grocery place. Pretty nice. So we're heading, we're making our way to what is called Secret Beach. It's a place, it's the place to see, the place to be, I guess. As tourists, we might as well check it out in a little golf cart we rented. And, uh, we, uh, they have a lot of happy hours and stuff here, which I like. I wish they had that in, uh, America a lot more. They don't have it too many states in America. I think Florida has happy hour. And I've been to a few states that have happy hour allowed, but really Massachusetts and places like that, they don't have that. Hey, you know? bump ahead, slow down. Got a big bump ahead, ready, set, engage. Oh, oh, oh. oh. The Promise Kitchen. Authentic place in Durham, local menu. A lot of places. Promise Kitchen. A lot of places open like after 11, 12 o'clock. They're like lunch and dinner places. Then you have your breakfast places. This is really nice. We're really enjoying ourselves. The weather is perfect. It's about, oh, it's in the 80s, I guess, 82. But when you're in the car driving, it's pretty like, oh, 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 oh. Busting my jewels, man. You got these little speed bumps all the way, so you can't, so you can't like fly. like island hopping. Better to have a nice motorcycle and just little wheelies. See, they got a pool there. They got a barbecue and a pool. So while you're eating, you can jump in the pool. That's pretty nice, you know? What's that over there? Is a lagoon or a lake? Probably like a little lagoon with salt water, I guess. I We're going way out to the northern point of the island, which is known as Secret Beach. It's kind of a cool place. If someone's have money, this one is for sale. This building right here, for sale. Yeah, but it's way past the city. I think I like to have a place next to the city, a beachfront next to the city, so people can go into the city and screw around and then also stay at the resort. Best of both worlds. Because a lot of people that come to these resorts, they're city people. They're not all from the backwoods of America. The city people. Ask him. No good? Yeah, good. How do we go to Secret Beach? Oh. <laughs> Over here, what's this one over here? 